Good afternoon. So you may have gathered by the music and by the beautiful view of the pond that this is going to be a video about calm and relaxing. Before you, you have chamomile and calendula. After making my recent salve of comfrey, it occurred to me that I really like the feeling of that on my skin too, not just the effects of the comfrey, but the feeling of taking care of myself. And so I decided to make a calming balm of chamomile and calendula. I'm going to be using some very skin nourishing butters in this as well, which I didn't do in the comfrey because that was more of a, uh, just something I wanted to absorb quickly. Okay, it wasn't about smell or anything else. This, however, I just wanted to be something very gentle and calming, both to the skin, but also to my attitude. <laughs> And sometimes just um, the gentle smell of chamomile is just what I need. And thus, what you see before you. So, as you've seen me do before, I am simply putting these into a jar. This is a quart mason jar. Actually, I don't know that it's mason. It may be cur or ball. <laughs> However, uh, I'm going to be adding a, the mixture of oils and butters that include shea butter. Um, shea butter being the overriding butter in this, along with some meadow foam and olive oil. Uh, I just wanted something very gentle on the skin, but slightly moisturizing as well, of course, but also something that would, I don't know, make me feel good. And this is something I think that would be good for you too. You need to find time within your day to be peaceful, to be mindful. Uh, there is so much in the world that can stress us, that can distract us, that can take us away from us, ourselves. Um, you have your family to take care of, you have animals, you have, oh, bills, and all those sort of things that all we grown-ups have to deal with. But don't forget to take care of you. You are the most important person. Now that may sound selfish, but it truly isn't. If you're not well, if you're not taking care of you, how can you care for others? How can you do the things that you love to do to bring joy to others if you're not joyful. So just something to consider. Above all, I want you to be happy. So again, these are my oils and butters here. And uh, I was really happy with this mixture and it has come out wonderful. I, matter of fact, I have some of this on my skin now, and it's fantastic. It smells wonderful. The only problem with it is I'm afraid I'll use it all up. <laughs> Every time I look at the jar, I grab it and want to rub some in. Okay, so uh, moving forward here, I'm pouring these over the petals and flowers here. And I just let it slowly bubble down through. Now, there are other ways to do this. You can put in a little bit of the flowers, pour in a little bit of oil, or start with oil and a few flowers, 
and vice versa, or your herbs, whatever it is you're using. This is just what I did in this one. I didn't think it out very much. But I don't know, there's something kind of peaceful about watching the oils bubble up through the calendula and the chamomile, don't you think? So I'm just pressing some of the, some little holes down in there just to make sure that the oil fully penetrates down to the bottom. So I heated this for about eight to 10 hours. I think it was about eight and a half hours at 200 degrees. Next, I removed it and filtered it through my sieve to collect the oils. And I have to tell you, the smell coming off this jar was just intoxicating, just wonderful. You know, I have used chamomile infused oils and calendula infused oils in soaps before. However, the saponification process takes away uh, a lot of the fragrance. This does not. As a matter of fact, it seems even stronger by putting it in a salve or balm. I haven't yet looked up the difference between a salve and a balm. <laughs> but this is very gentle. I wasn't rough with it. I just pressed it to get as many of those wonderful oils out as I could. And actually, I ended up getting almost a perfect 16 ounces. And I don't dispose of these, when I'm done, of these herbs. These go into compost and then into the garden to make more chamomile and calendula. So now I have my oil. I tried to bring it up there and show you, but I was afraid I was going to spill it. <laughs> but it looked wonderful. It smells terrific. And there's my beeswax. Now, you could use another type of wax, such as a soy wax, if you choose. Uh, beeswax is pretty abundant in the area that I live in, um, locally. Um, but you can buy it online. You can get it at some farmer's markets. I know you can here. So what I've done here is I've got the oil now in a uh, like a Pyrex uh, measuring cup and I'm going to heat it up slightly and then add the beeswax so that the beeswax melts within the oils. So now I'm adding in vitamin E. Now I do refrigerate this so it stays fresh longer. And generally I don't make very much at a time because it's good for about six months. Now, because I don't use preservatives. Now you 
um, keep in mind, you can make a lot less than I made, so you don't end up with a lot of extra. But I know I'll use a lot of it. And I may sell some of it if anyone's interested, but uh, I really like using it, so I'll probably go through most of it myself. I just added in a little bit of kaolin clay, and I will put the recipe in the description here, so you don't have to guess on these things. I was so careful pouring this. I tried not to spill, which is difficult for me. So, of course, I couldn't resist adding a little something. <laughs> so I just dropped a couple of calendula petals on top of each jar. So I want to thank you all. I hope you enjoyed this. And no, I'm not stopping making soaps. I love making soaps. I just like doing other things too and just wanted to show you. If there's something in particular you want, reach out to me, ask me. I'm thinking about doing some massage oils too. I'd love a massage. I haven't had one in ages. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Have a terrific day. Goodbye.